Welcome to this podcast in which we are going to describe the dermoscopic features of the squamous cell carcinoma located on the lip. First of all, what do we know about the squamous cell carcinoma on skin? Since 2011, there were several papers describing the features on SCC on the skin, and in these uh, uh, papers, the authors analyzed uh, more than 200 lesions, and uh, several criteria have been reported, including the presence of a central keratin, more commonly seen in keratacantoma, and a white circle that, regard, that were the most specific features, and also others such as blood spot uh, and keratin and white circle altogether that in a multivariate model uh, were independent predictors of squamous cell carcinoma. So just to summarize here, what we can see on squamous cell carcinoma located on the skin, this is a beautiful example of white circle that are roundish white structures, uh, and in this small squamous cell carcinoma there is also a central keratin mass. Furthermore, here what you can see in the second example is the presence of a predominantly white color all over the lesion, especially at the periphery. And this, in this third case, instead we see the predominant reddish color and ulceration in the center. So we have data also regarding the squamous cell carcinoma on the skin that help us to differentiate well-differentiated uh, squamous cell carcinoma from poorly differentiated tumors. And more specifically, the more you see the white, the more the tumor is well-differentiated, the more the lesion is red, the less is differentiated. But what can we see about the squamous cell carcinoma located on the lip? There are extremely uh, few data about uh, these dermoscopic features. We know well that from a clinical point of view, the squamous cell carcinoma arises preferentially on the lower lip of adults and, and elderly with a male predominance. And usually these lesions have the history of being a long-lasting ulcer. Sometimes pain is associated and if we touch the lesion, it's quite firm at palpation. Recently, our group described the features of, of squamous cell carcinoma located on the lips in a case series of 22 histopathologically confirmed tumors, and uh, we saw that the median age of the patient was 75 years, the majority were male, not surprisingly, and uh, the lesion were, for the majority, flat tumors. Regarding the dermoscopic diagnosis, we saw the presence of white, yellow, and red colors mixed together. Ulceration was uh, quite a typical finding, as well as the presence of a vascular pattern, including polymorphous vessels and vessels that could be not focused and small in size. And here you see summarized the table with uh, the features uh, in terms of vessels, so polymorphic vessels, scales was found, uh, were found in the majority in, in all cases, as well as the presence of white circles, white halos, and white structureless areas. Those three features were also seen in, usually in the squamous cell carcinoma located on the skin. Here one example of a huge flat ulcerated tumors on the lower lip, dermoscopically revealing the presence of polymorphic vessels here. And here other beautiful examples in which you see the presence of white color, here white circle and B case, and dotted vessels along with shiny white streaks that are also quite often observed in uh, squamous cell carcinoma on the lip. And in the other example here on the lower part, you see the presence of uh, a typical vascular pattern. Here are other three examples, all male patients, and you can observe the presence of white color and the reddish area corresponding to the ulceration, and there is a kind of quite stereotypical pattern all over. 
Sometimes we have exception to the rule, and this is one of the cases in which you see the presence of in focus linear arborizing vessels, but the presence of keratin and the white color is strongly suggestive for the diagnosis of squamous cell carcinoma. So to conclude, clinical diagnosis is of utmost importance for lip squamous cell carcinoma, while dermoscopic criteria have not been fully elucidated. And furthermore, lip squamous cell carcinoma share several dermoscopic features with cutaneous squamous cell carcinoma.